rides on their back. Gagano na kasi naghanap na. Pag walang pera yan, maghanap talaga ng pera yan. Because they will not be at ease. Just uh, parang unggoy na gumaganoon sa likod mo eh. That's the characterization of uh, an addict uh, response ng katawan. So it's a problem and I will not I will not for the life of me allow it to happen or get allow it to get uh, worse. Wag sa akin. Ayaw ko talaga. Wag sa akin kasi hindi ko matanggap yan. I will not accept that kind of proposition. Ngayon dito sa third promise that I will uh, go out to the enemies of the state, talk to them about peace. Itong komunista sumubra. They have been lording it over the press, yung mga leftist na mga ano, kung ano-anong pinagsasabi, hinayaan ko lang. Sabi ko, sige lang. Tapos sa uh, mga, it pa, it's, it's uh, what's the word? Insatiable. Walang katapusan ang, and if I correctly assess it, evaluate it, Lahat ng workshop papers nila doon, sila Bilyo, nandito si Bilyo, Doresa, I think, is here also. Cabinet meeting kami kahapon. Yung mga dala-dala ng papel, mga proposal, and the working papers nila doon, binasa ko. Akala nila wala akong kopya yan. Intelligence, mga nagbigay. Gaya... Tried to figure out what's really the end game nito. It's a coalition government. Now the coalition government cannot, I cannot agree to it. Coalition with sovereignty are two really far different from each other. Sovereignty or the exercise of it is usually or is only given to officials or persons who are elected by the people. Diyan ka lang makahawak ng sovereignty or you proclaim something there, you declare Marcelo. These are exercises of sovereignty which cannot be shared if the Constitution does not give it to you. It is shared by the Supreme Court in its decision. Then Congress passes the law and the President who executes the laws. It's, uh, it's an indivisible thing na hindi mo pwede. Sabi ko sa kanila, I cannot give you what I do not own. So wag na tayong mag-istorya. Sabi na gira, o di mag tayo. We have been fighting for 50 years, I told them at the start of the negotiation. You want it to last another 50 years? I grieve, but I, I said, uh, do not ask something which is not within my power to give. So, yan. I'm reminded, narinig na ninyo ito, I'm sure you have... Uh, but I would uh, end it by his, his story and it goes like this. Maraming masterpieces, uh, the painter and the sculptor and the genius, the Da Vinci, Leonardo, came uh, to Florence and was doing his uh, everything there. Uh, he lived in the 14th uh, 50 or something, he died. Uh, basta year uh, 15, so mula siguro, uh, hindi naman one century, but he lived quite uh, a good life. It is said that uh, in Florence he started to paint the Last Supper, the last dinner of uh, Christ with his. Uh, mga apostolis nila na, na puro may sungay naman pala. 
Then, uh, the guy was about to finish the work for each and every apostle. Meron siyang model. Gaya yung mga si St. Peter, kinuha niyang model si General Esperon, ganoon, binayara niya. Tapos uh, si Saint, uh, sino ba yung mga yawa niya? Pangalan niya? Oh, siya. So. Uh, but but na, he was able to complete the painting. So it is said, in five years, except to two persons na hindi niya madrawing. He was looking for a model of Christ, the far right, and itong si Judas, the far left. So it took him another two years, but not in Florence. But during a fiesta in Venice, may nakita siya ng actoring drama. So he saw this guy, Parang Kristo talaga ang mga clean face, may gupit. And he was an actor. He was talagang maganda. So it struck him and said, this is the kind of face that I would paint for Jesus Christ. So pagkatapos ng drama, pumunta siya sa backstage and kinausap niya. Sabi niya, bayaran kita. Uh, only to pause for a few days because I'm gone. But he was already known to be a genius at that time. So, pumayag yung actor because, uh, sabi siguro, honor, honor ko na to, maging iso Kristo. So, he painted, he sat there in his studio, ginawa niya ang Jesus Christ. So, 12 na. Ang ikat-thirteenth, si Judas, hinanap niya sa Ah, sa lahat. Punta siya ng ganon, ganon, ganon. But, uh, pag niya sa Florence, naghanap siya ng muka talagang evil. Pareho kay Trillanes. Yung... <laughs> naghanap siya ng muka ni Trillanes. Wala man siya maka. Wala pa mga PMA nun. Do, hindi niya, ma hindi niya mahanap. But one fiesta sa... Or is that uh, yung, the Leaning Tower of Pisa? Milan? Is it Milan? Doon nakita niya yung fiesta, nakita niya isang tao. Sa karaming pagkain, gaiety and everything, he, he saw this man nag-scavenge. Scavenging di basura. Naghanap ng pagkain. So pag daan niya, nakita niya, put, nakita niya, putang ina, trillanes na ito. <laughs> Nandito lang pala eh. So he talked to him, so that said, do not be insulted, but you know, I'm trying to complete my painting. The only person missing there, the face is uh, Judas. Sabi niya, you are not Judas. Sabi ko kay trillanes nga, you are not the Judas. But sabi ni Da Vinci, you are a model or a face of evil. Sabihin ko na rin, Ignace, you are a model and a face of evil. So, na-convince niya, at ang pangit talaga, karasgara dito na ang muka. So, nag-upo sa studio niya. So, on the fourth year, year after na si na pintura niya. So, nakompleto niya ang last chapter. Problema, pagkatapos, binayaran niya, yung hudas niya fell down on his knees and started crying. I said, bakit? Did I offend you? I did not say that you are Judas. I said that you personify the Judas sa isip ko kung anong itsura niya. Hindi man niya inabot. So, na, na, the guy was really crying. Hysterical as a matter of fact. 
And I said, why are you so emotional? You are not crying all the time when you were posing. Sabi ng ni yung si Huda sa painting, you know, Mr. Da Vinci, I was once upon a time, you're Jesus Christ, and you took that is major. No, yung ngayon, you do the ako yun, the kalat ako sa buhay. I am one and the same person. So we all start with the noblest of intention, joining government, dreaming for uh, we start good. But uh, especially in government. Hindi kayo. But I hope you, I will not have to ask you to post a picture which I will, draw, be, will, I will be drawing shortly before I leave the presidency. I hate to see you being a Jesus Christ only to discover in the end that do you are the Judas that I have been also looking for. Maraming salamat. Thank you very much, Mr. President, for your message. We shall now proceed with a photo-taking opportunity, and we will have... That was President Rodrigo Duterte, who just delivered a speech in Malacanang after the mass oath-taking of newly appointed officials. In his speech, Mr. Duterte told new government officials to reject all forms of corruption. The president urged his appointees and other civil servants not to hesitate to call anybody from the cabinet to schedule a meeting to report on any corrupt practices they see in the bureaucracy. Mr. Duterte warned officials not to engage in under the table deals as he will not hesitate to sack them. The president reminded them that he has fired five palace officials including a budget undersecretary. He also urged officials to help the Bureau of Internal Revenue as the tax collecting agency continues to raise money to fund the government's build, build, build program. The president also dwelled on other topics including human rights, political dynasty, and the government's war against the Communist Party's New People's Army. About human rights, the president hit human rights groups that continue to criticize his intensified campaign against illegal drugs. He also said there is nothing wrong with political dynasties as policy makers cannot really stop people from patronizing certain political families. Duterte admitted that he is a part of a political dynasty as his daughter Sara Duterte Carpio is the incumbent Davao mayor while his son Paolo sits as the city's vice mayor. However, Duterte assured his audience that his family does not intend to cling to power, once again showing the crowd his daughter's resignation letter submitted to his office last year. The president also reiterated his position to establish establishing a coalition government with the Communist Party of the Philippines. Last month, the palace announced that the president formally pulled away from the negotiating table as talks with communist rebels fell through. Yesterday, the president declared the New People's Army as a terrorist organization. We now go back to the House of Representatives where the House Justice Committee